Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. I do your reading almost daily and I upload your videos right away. So these messages are current. In this reading, we are going to get you some important general messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important general messages for Aquarius today. The story in reverse at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, you've been working really hard. I'm going to start with work first, okay? And then I'll go to love. I'll interpret it in a, a love context later after this. But I feel like with the story in reverse, for some of you, you could be working with people with the Three of Pentacles here, either to fix something or build something or to rebuild something, okay? Um, and I feel like, you know, Three of Pentacles, you can see there are a few people here, right? So it, there could be some discussions going on um, today um, or recently. Discussions, trying to figure something out because the Seven of Cups here is in reverse, trying to come to a decision. Uh, and the Page of Wands, yeah, I feel like Spirit saying there's a lack of imagination or that there's a lack of creativity. So something to ponder upon, uh, Satch and Five of Swords could also indicate people you work with. If you do work in a company and you do work with like people, um, the story could be for you. And Five of Swords here indicates, you know, one person wants to up the other. It's, it feels more like a competition rather than actually working as a team. Hence, you know, everybody just wants to have like an upper hand. I don't know. I'm, def I'm definitely getting that. But Satch is definitely saying to if you want to win this, this so-called competition or if you really want to help fix whatever you try to fix here within your company or it could be your own business as well. Definitely needing to think outside of the box because the page of wands, it's a one. So a one indicates passion, desire. Um, could also indicate creativity, so you have to be extra creative with your ideas, okay? And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, can indicate like it's a stuck energy where it's going on and on, round and round in circles and not actually going anywhere. But the chariot here, for a lot of you, you just want to start. You just want to, you know, start getting things running. But there, there is a setback here. I, I feel like either it's because of your competitors or people you work with, okay? And the fool right here for me, and it, this is you, the sitting in your uh, you position. I feel like you're open. You're open to taking risks. Or that's basically saying perhaps it's okay to take some risks, but calculated risks, of course, right? Some of you could be thinking about traveling as well because a page and a page of wands and a fool and a chariot can indicate that. Some of you could be thinking about traveling, could be talking about traveling in the near future. There's a bit of a setback here with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Some of you are traveling for work reasons um, or just traveling, okay, in general. We've got the Nine of Swords here in reverse. I think some of you, you may be fearing the fact that you haven't thought things through, that you're maybe not thorough enough. You may be fearing like you're not doing enough or that you're not thorough enough um, in terms of your work or, you know, ideas. I feel like there's just way too much, like, it feels very, you know, pentacles and the swords. It doesn't come from, like, it doesn't feel exciting enough doesn't feel creative enough i keep getting this energy that you need to be extra creative and seven of wands is right here and we've got the eight of cups here 
Yeah, um, seven of wands can indicate like you protecting your territory. You need to protect your territory, or that you need to protect your idea, and make sure if you throw an idea out, you you know that it's just not between you and this person, and that there's somebody else present. So you have like a witness. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here, and with the eight of cups here. Um, Candy Cave, some of you, you could be also thinking about leaving your company or leaving your your job or leaving your business, starting a new business. And Five of Swords also can indicate, you know, stealing something from the company and then going away and to open your own business. I don't know who this is for. I don't know whether it's you or it could be somebody else could be thinking about either stealing your ideas, stealing clients and to take them and run run their own other company or go to another company i definitely send a sense a little bit of a deceit here with the five of swords okay i just feel like with the seven of wands here something about you needing to protect your idea your uh, like maybe doing a, a copyright okay something that you need to protect that's what i'm getting here um and the star here is similar but it feels like you're some of you are just wanting to fix something within your, whatever, it could be your project, your business. All right, Satch, I'm going to move on to love. In the, in the love context, the saw in reverse can make it maybe. You're going through healing and recovery because of somebody that you're trying to, you know, meet in the middle with the three of pentacles. If you're currently connected with someone, right? Feeling kind of stuck, Wheel of Fortune also can indicate like, you know, I'm here to stay. We will fix this, you know, we'll get through it together. Um, the only problem is maybe lack of freedom to do what you want to do. But if you are single, such, um, the Three of Pentacles can indicate for some of you, maybe you're just working too hard for those Sag. If you are working too hard, you bury yourself in work. Then it's a little bit hard for you to meet you know, or to, to go out and meet somebody. And we've got the chariot here. I feel like there is this, um, I don't know, I'm getting this idea um, from looking at your spread here that some of you maybe, you, if you're single, such, it's good for you to not just go out to the bars or to the clubs. I mean, if you go to these places, you know these people drink <laughs> most likely. But think about other things like, things that you really like to do for example it could be trekking jungle trekking it could be you know but go in a group a community like yoga but make sure that you you don't go if you're female you don't go to those join any sorts of group or community where it's full of women so choose one that that's gonna be like a, a mixed gender <laughs> mixed gender uh, group community could be anything like for example i'm going to bali so i was thinking i want to go surfing you know it can be anything other than just going to the bars or like swiping on like dating apps something about needing to make a move here with the chariot and the eight of cups you know look at the eight of cups like this person is actually leaving behind um, everything that either they have contributed in or put it put any in effort into something they have been building I feel like it's specifically saying to walk away from the usual things and again creativity that's very important with the page of wands here things think creatively if you are single and you want to meet somebody new think of creative places that you could go to or join any join a group any sorts of like community that you are interested in and then perhaps you will be meeting this person for some of you if you are still trying to figure out with someone you're with right now trying to meet in the middle i feel like with a chariot here there could be some thoughts i feel for some of you of leaving this connection to gain your freedom with a fool here perhaps liberating yourself from this person walking away again eight of cups here can indicate that because you fear that this person is going to give you more stress more headache maybe you've been dealing with someone five of swords that is somewhat someone very difficult to be in a relationship with and with the seven of wands here it's definitely saying to uh, hold your ground stick to your boundaries and principles and make sure this person doesn't uh, walk all over you or cross your boundaries. All right, Satch, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two 
playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It says Asia. Um, it's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you for the rest of the signs, but they're still they're valid readings because uh, you guys know I post your videos almost every single day and I always post your bonus reading. So check it out if you want to. I'm closed for personal readings for now. I'll open it later when I'm ready. And also, last but not least, for those of you who would like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Alright, take care, Saj. Bye.